Now, I always liked the concept of the Z-board or the Z-board, but honestly, the build quality always felt a little, well, suspect to me. Now, what SteelSeries did in their acquisition of Ideas On is they took some of the products, particularly the Z-board, and just made them better. Beefier, stronger, faster, just better in sort of every way. So that's where the shift comes from. It actually accepts the same key sets as the Z-board. So if you have an old Z-board key set, you can throw it right onto a shift keyboard and vice versa. You can buy a shift key set for your old Z-board, no problem, but they've just really improved the base station of it um, a great deal. So I've actually done an unboxing of the shift already. So you can check that one out on my channel if you want to. This is specifically going to be about the World of Warcraft Cataclysm key set for the Z-board. So I have a Z-board. Well, it is for the Z-board, but it's mostly for the shift. Okay, so here we go. This box includes, well, here, why don't we start opening it and then we'll talk about what it includes. So let's see if there's any features on the back that stand out. Um, no, it doesn't really look like there's anything there that I don't already know. So I guess I'll just go ahead and start getting this thing opened up. So you can see it comes with the default key set installed. There we are. And I'm just going to show you guys as part of this unboxing. So we got a sticker, product guide, uh, yep, a little baggie of stuff there. We've got a SteelSeries Shift keyboard here, which is taped closed. So go ahead and remove that tape, take out the keyboard. There we are. All right, then. Sorry, guys, I'm having a fair bit of trouble with this here. Okay, so shift keyboard. Let's go over this really quick, even though we've kind of already done it. Okay, media keys here. Very nice keyboard layout that I like a lot. Full-size backspace, full-size shift keys, all of that good stuff. You got your F keys, you got your programmable keys up here, including a record button and three different profiles. Okay, you've got um, all of your other sort of normal stuff over here. Number pad, print screen, scroll lock. Okay, so all that's normal, except bam! Whoa, it's all gone. So if you haven't seen a Z board or a shift before, then there you are. That's the concept of the shift. Removable key sets, okay? So it includes a uh, wrist rest, and I'm not gonna get too far into that. You can check out my uh, my other shift unboxing if you wanna see the wrist rest. And it includes a cataclysm key set. Here we are. So the cataclysm key set comes wrapped in plastic. And the first thing we're gonna do is show you how easy it is to install a key set on the shift. You just slide it in like that, lay the whole thing down, and clip it in on the side. There we are, now it's in. That was easy. So, all of this stuff over here that is not for gaming, I mean, maybe some people bind things to insert, like gaming functions, although most people probably don't. Okay, so not for gaming, replaces all that stuff with for gaming. Okay, so here, everything over here is fairly normal, except they've changed a lot of the labels. So check this out. So tab is now the, oh really, it's not gonna focus for me? All right, let's see if we can get it to focus. Please focus. I'll have to read it for you. Tab is the target nearest enemy button, for example. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here. There's enemy plates, and then with the shift, Friendly plates, there's backpack, shift is all bags, talent, map, skills, quest, social, spell book, action 10, action 9, all kinds of stuff here. So the F1s, okay, emote bar 1, emote bar 2, so thank you, cheer, welcome, charge, congrats, incoming, all good stuff here. Pet, pet 1, pet 2, pet 3, pet 4. All right, and then over here, this is the gaming area of the keyboard, gaming terrain. All right, so we've got... A complete replacement for WASD. Okay, so if you want to run using this over here, then you can totally do that. We've got... Huh, okay, well, you. I guess the way this is set up, you would not use this with your left hand the way you would for FPS games. Okay, so you're going to use this with your right hand, and then this with your left hand. Okay, I don't quite understand how this works. Give me a moment. See, this is the problem with doing these videos like completely off the top of my head. Okay, so this this is pretty clearly not, not a replacement for WASD. So WASD 
are your movement keys. Over here is a whole bunch of supplementary stuff. So we've got screenshot, exit vehicle, inspect, invite, trade, raid. Okay, here's all your raid functions. So raid chat, ready check, raid warning, raid browser. Okay, chat functions. So you got party chat, guild chat, region chat, BG chat, say, whisper, yell, emote. So these are all useful things to have automatically bound. Okay, and most of these are keys that you would already normally find on a keyboard. So check this out. Okay, so right here, delete also has a delete key over here. Now, it looks like it's changed the actual location of it. So what would have normally been print screen right here actually corresponds to insert. So they've, they've changed the layout slightly, but the... the uh, the circuitry in the key set itself is going to remap that for you without you having to worry too much about it. So pretty much that's it. The point of the shift keyboard is this, okay? It's basically like a Z-board except just generally built better. And thank you for checking out my unboxing of the shift WOW Cataclysm Edition. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer and game type videos. Thanks for watching.